hey guys i'm back again with another one so today's video is so hella different from the videos that i'm always doing yeah that's because today i'm not doing a vlog my daily vlogs today i'm only going to talk yeah let me say that today i'm going to do a talk and it's all about um how to deal with anxieties that's because i'm one of the people who go through lots of anxieties i mean panic attacks and all so today i'm here to help all those who also go through anxieties just like me listen you're not alone in this and we finna fight this and you should be strong in all this because let me tell you one thing about anxiety it's a mindset i know what it feels like going through anxieties and the panic attacks it's not a good feeling i can assure you that it's not a good feeling at all um and most times i get panic attacks when i'm about to sleep so let me talk about myself here and tell you my experience with anxieties and how i've improved on that so most times i get anxieties when i'm about to sleep yeah at night like late at night and i also get anxieties when i receive bad news not me receiving bad news but when i hear bad news okay when i also receive bad news of which i've never received and i pray to god it remains like that so um when i hear when i hear bad news when i see bad things on the internet scary things they really scare me a lot to an to, to, to an extent that i can't even get hold of myself you know it's so tough for me and most times i i always have to call someone for them to make me feel better because i can't do it on my own each time i feel like i'm having anxieties i love doing what will keep me busy you know so like folding my clothes yeah this keeps me so much busy that i can't even think of panicking or something and it makes me feel happy because I'm really trying my best to distract my brains. That's all I always need. Just that. So I'll try my best doing the things that I love like folding my clothes, arranging my clothes, rearranging them and arranging them. Just to feel better, you know. And it really helps me a lot. Trust me, it really helps. So when you feel like you're having anxiety, try doing what you love doing the most. The most important thing is you trying to distract your head. Just do anything, anything. As for me, I'll maybe watch a movie, I'll fold my clothes, you know, I'll listen to music. I'll just do lots of tasks. The key word here is try distracting your brains. Make sure you don't think of one same thing. Just try, do your best. So let me tell you guys the things that I did to improve my anxiety. First of all, right now I can say I'm so much better. Like I can compare myself the way I was before, you know. I used to have, um, I don't know, I don't know what word I can use. I used to have worst anxieties. I used to have panic attacks to an extent I'd go out of breath and just faint. And you know why? That's because I already put it in my mind that when it gets to a certain time, let's say like 6 p.m., when it gets to 6 p.m., I, I, I just start feeling weird and go out of breath and just faint you know my mom can tell you this because it's so hella real so i think it's a brain set i think my mind already knew when it gets to 6 p.m you know what i must go out of breath when it gets to 6 p.m i must faint i realized it's only my brain that's controlling me i decided you know what it's high time i start controlling my brain because if my brain tells me yo you have to get scared of this trust me you're going to get scared and that's because you've allowed your brains to take control of you you have to take control of your brains so i realized it's all about my brain and these days trust me I've, I've turned out to be so much better like with time i'm getting to to face my fears i'm getting to be a strong woman i'm getting to forget about all these anxieties so most times when i get anxieties i pray a lot this right here is superbook and it's one of the movies that i'll never stop watching because it makes me feel way too better especially when i'm down when i'm feeling anxious like when i'm having the panic attacks and all it makes me feel way too encouraged and it also brings me closer to god it makes me think about god a lot and that's why it's my best and that's why i always put it all the times and I also love listening to Joel Austin because he talks a lot about anxieties and panic attacks and how to deal with them. And ever since I started listening to him, I've been so hella strong on these anxiety stuff and all, you know. 
yeah so if you're also going through that try your best and listen to his sermons and you might feel better yo on my side i feel so much better and i can't even like complain and i love listening to him all times before i sleep like that's already my routine like i'm so hella used to that already after checking some youtube videos i realized anxieties and panic attacks um it's all about your mindset and your yeah it's all about your mindset and when i saw that trust me i started changing because i was like you know what i have to take control of my brain i shouldn't let my brain take control of me like why i know it's so tough it's so hard and and by the time you're learning the truth it's too hella late you know <laughs> you've suffered a lot so i suffered a lot like a lot a lot a lot for me to come and know the reality about anxieties and panic attacks like it's all about my mindset i really suffered a lot and all this really leads to depression because like i said it's not a happy feeling it makes you so sad i used to be so sad i used to cry a lot i used to be so scared i, di I didn't feel like life meant anything to me because I'd see everyone happy and all, but I'm going through anxieties and panic attacks and I'm not even happy. And I used to be scared I might die. You know what? But God is so good because I'm here right now. Even if sometimes I go through panic attacks, just a bit, I can't compare with the way I used to go through that back then, you know. Back then in 2020, 2021, 2022 a bit. Then right now, 2023, I'm improving. Yeah, I've improved a lot starting okay from last year. I've I've really improved. I've improved a lot. And I really thank God about that because it's not an easy thing. So if you're out there and you're going through that, no you're not alone. Going for a small walk is also one way of distracting yourself from having the anxieties. I mean from thinking about them too much, you know. So that's what I do normally. I go for a small walk anytime I feel like I'm having the panic attacks of Anytime I feel like I'm about to have the panic attacks, I just go out a bit, maybe buy the small biscuits like these ones. Yeah, the twist ones, because <laughs> they make me feel hella better. And the best way to avoid that is to avoid the things that you know are going to give you anxieties. You see, as for me, I have to avoid um, videos that are too scary, videos that are going to make me feel like crying. They give me anxieties a lot, and I really try my best to avoid those videos that's why most times when i open my instagram i only go to check fashion stuff and all because when i keep on scrolling and get bad news it will make me go through anxieties and i'm not even ready for that that's why i have to control that you know you have to take control of your brain sometimes i'm always telling myself let me face my fears you know what i'm going to watch a very horrible movie i'm going to watch <laughs> scary videos so that i can um so that i can face my fears but after watching that it's never it never ends well it never ends well i'm never okay i cry a lot i shake a lot and i'm always like telling myself um why am i doing this to myself when i know this video is going to harm me so these days i'm always controlling myself a lot because when you know something is not good for you then you gotta leave it otherwise it's going to harm you it's going to terrorize your brain it's going to traumatize your brain a lot you know that's why i'm always like you know what this video is so hella bad for me i'm not going to do it that's you controlling your brains yeah that's you controlling your brains that's you controlling your mindset you, you you're taking control over that and that's what's supposed to be done try as much as you can to fight anxiety don't let it take away your happiness because yo don't let your brain control you take control of your brain learn to love yourself yeah i know at some point it's so hella hard mostly when you're already depressed it's so hella hard you you feel like life has no meaning but pray a lot that's all i can say prayers really work i mean god is so hella real and i'll never stop telling people because i've seen god myself i see god every day like the things that happen in my life that's god i see god and i can't even like doubt at all that god doesn't exist no my god hella real make his god hella big so try in as much as you can to fight anxieties just know it's it's a mindset it's a brain set it's not something that exists it's a brain set that's what i've told myself and i'm going to stay with that forever and i'm going to love myself forever and i also want you to do that i mean love yourself for life know you're a 
big person and um don't let this thing control you so i'm gonna see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe bye